With New South Wales gripped by a record-breaking drought, there have been numerous drought-related incidents that have hit the media and attracted public attention, from fish deaths to towns running increasingly low on surface water supplies. In fact, the northern tributaries of the Barwon Darling have received below average inflows now for five out of the last six years. This has led many to ask us the all-important question, how is Water New South Wales helping its customers and communities affected by the drought? Under normal conditions and during wet periods, water is captured in our dams. At the time of capture, it is allocated to entitlement holders, including towns, the environment and extractive users. We store water in our dams like a bank savings account for it to be drawn on when needed over time. Extreme climate events like the current drought reduce the volumes captured, impacting how Water New South Wales manages the system and our dams. The capturing of water during the wet period in 2016 has enabled Water New South Wales to maintain flows along the rivers over the last two years which would otherwise be drier much sooner. Water New South Wales is now managing water in the storages to meet critical human needs across the valleys. General security licence holders in the most critically affected valleys are no longer receiving water. The drought means we have to take steps to effectively manage and get the most benefits out of what limited water we do have. Water New South Wales manages water supplies through times of drought in a number of ways, always making sure critical human needs are the first priority. The ways we can do this include not running the rivers continually, instead releasing bulk volumes of water, known as block releases, that are designed to more efficiently manage limited water supplies to towns and their communities when they need it most. Designing future infrastructure solutions to help us manage the current drought, but also better prepare us for future droughts. Increasing information on water supplies and water to help users, the community and government agencies respond to the drought. And helping our customers with hardship provisions and applying the government refund of fixed water fees. This effective management of our storages has extended water availability across many regional towns, delaying some of the worst impact of the droughts by up to 12 months. However, without decent rainfall, the impacts of the drought will continue to be felt across the state. In addition, we are working with a number of government agencies to ensure these needs can be met via groundwater or alternative supplies, such as trucking in water to towns. Water New South Wales wants our customers to stay up to date with storage levels, system risks and climate conditions across New South Wales during drought times. Just click on the drought information section of our site at waternewsouthwales.com.au. For added convenience, both our Greater Sydney and Regional New South Wales reports can also be emailed directly to you by signing up via waternewsouthwales.com.au forward slash subscribe.